Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm so excited to be back. I'm filming a interview makeup tutorial for you today because I know sometimes when you go into an interview, you're already maybe a little bit nervous about the job you might be applying for, the school you really want to go to, or even the pageant you're competing in. You're a little nervous. And sometimes a lot of people ask, you know, how much is too much makeup? How little is not enough? And so I'm going to do today the look that I would want if I were interviewing someone and the look that I used going to Miss Nebraska USA, Miss USA, and Miss Universe. So throughout this whole tutorial, after I describe what I'm doing with the makeup, I'm also giving you little tips and tricks on interviewing and how I think it's best to prepare. But let's go ahead and start. So if you have followed any of my tutorials before, you know that I start with the eyes because if you put a color on the eye and it falls off, obviously the shape of your face onto your cheek and you already did all of your face makeup, then it's just sitting there where you obviously didn't want it. So I do eyes first and then brush off the under, the fall off. So first of all, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape just on my eyelid to prime it for some color. You already can see my hair is in a tight slick back ponytail. I think ponytails are perfect for interview because they display confidence. It gets the hair out of your face so that you don't play with it, have to push it away, fidget with your hair, um, and so that it's not distracting to your interviewer. And I think power ponies, you know, it's a great display of confidence. You, you're showing all of your face, you are going in there and you're ready to go. I think it's a great style for an interview. All right, now I'm going in with a fluffy, fluffy brush. By the way, I am an advocate. I truly believe that your brushes, they do matter. Originally I thought, oh, brushes, you know, whatever. I'll just use the same one for everything. Well, I've been taught otherwise, and now I'm converted. So, what I'm gonna do for this interview look is use my bronzer, actually. So this is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Fun fact, if you use Too Faced, their bronzer smells actually like chocolate. So I'll swirl my fluffy brush around in here, knock off the excess because you don't want it to be too pigmented. You can always go back in with more. And I'm gonna fluffy, fluffy, fluffy brush it right above and into my crease. Kind of just making that subtle shadow, but nothing sparkly, nothing distracting, nothing too dark. So as you can see that I have shadowed. All right. And depending on maybe what you're wearing, another thing that I'm going to do today is use a little bit of my blush um, with that same fluffy brush. Tap, tap, tap. And go down onto the corner. That'll just brighten it up and pull in a little bit of color, especially because I'm wearing this corally interview outfit. Perfect. Now, like I said about the excess, you want to go ahead and brush any excess fall off off, wipe it away, and then we're going into the face. You guys, that's it. That's all I'm doing on my eyelids. Seems crazy, but you do not want to be over the top, okay? If you walk in with a smoky eye, and I'm your interviewer or judge, I'm just like already confused. You need to dress and do your makeup for the part. In fact, back when I was interviewing for child life positions, I actually considered wearing scrubs to my interview. Um, I didn't do that, just in case you're wondering. Also, going in before I do my face makeup, I'm using Shape Tape Double Duty Hydrating Primer, putting it on the back of my hands, rubbing it in just with my fingers. Smells kind of coconutty. So if you like coconut, that's a plus. If you hate it, maybe don't get this. <laughs> Great, now that we're all primed, I'm going to let that soak in just for a second. And first I'm gonna go in with my under eye and concealer for any spots, blemishes I may have. 
my go-to for all things, even light looks like this, is and forever probably will be Tarte Shape Tape. Why do I have so many? I don't know. <laughs> um, they have so many options of shades. And right here I have natural or light neutral, light medium honey, and light medium beige. I am a really neutral, even olivey undertone. So I learned that the beiges don't do well for me because they pull pretty pink. So if you pull pink, look for Tarte Shape Tape with a beige undertone. Um, but otherwise, I really like the light neutral or the light medium honey for my skin tone. So we're going to go ahead and do dot, dot, dot on the other under eye. Dot on any blemishes. Okay. Now, shape tape is pretty intense, so you don't want to let it sit here like this. Don't do this and then walk around, go to the bathroom, answer some texts. You want to blend it right in. So I have this foundation brush that I push, kind of pat into my pores. Get it up in there, close to that water line. Dab, dab, dab on top of that blemish. Bye-bye. Also, as you can see, my earrings are very dainty. Um, I would love for you guys to use just a stud of an earring, or if you're going to use a dangle, nothing bigger than this. Very subtle, classy, um, anything else can just be distracting. And you know what? If you're not an earring girl, don't wear earrings. That's totally fine. A, an interviewer or a judge isn't going to be like, Huh, I really loved her. All of her answers were very well put together, but she wasn't wearing earrings, so I don't like her. <laughs> People just aren't like that. And I know that just sounds ridiculous, what I just said. However, I know that when we're preparing for our dream job interview, we overthink everything. Maybe you don't. If you don't, good for you, but I totally do. <laughs> All right, now for the face makeup that once our concealer is all blended in, and I have a few foundations that I really like. If you have super clear skin, maybe you're watching this and you're not preparing for a job interview, but you're preparing for a junior teen pageant competition, and you have young skin, you're young, you can absolutely use just a powder foundation. Um, it doesn't even have to be a liquid because you don't need that kind of coverage. But if you're like me and you want a little bit more coverage, um, two, I can't get it out. <laughs> two foundations I think are perfect for interview are Vanish by Hourglass. It's a seamless finish liquid foundation. It's not too heavy and if you have the budget for it the Armani silk foundation is just out of this world it is perfect for an interview because it's a sheer coverage that just really glows it's stunning um, I don't have that with me right now because I am in Nebraska and I left it in New York but I'm gonna go ahead and use the vanish hourglass today and my color is ivory at the moment now if you guys follow any of my other videos you know that i also love lawless foundation it's an all natural brand so that's a good option if you're really looking for an all natural however it is a bit heavier of a coverage which regularly i love but again for interview you're going to be up close and personal with these people you don't need to have a cakey face okay i just put two pumps and my hourglass onto my oval artiste brush I'm gonna dab it around this may seem intense I do kind of pound my face with my hourglass or with my oval artiste remember to blend it into your ear and down your neck You can never be too blended. Okay, now I'm going to set all of that just really lightly with my Becca 
hydrating hydra mist set and refresh powder it's my favorite powder only one i'll ever purchase because it's actually cooling it stays in a compact and it's a cooling feature and i just love it i have pretty dry skin so i try not to use a lot of powders that are going to dry me out actually look i'm almost out i'm gonna need to get another one i'm going to link all these products for you below just so you can have easy access to them and just an FYI each of the links below are commissionable links which means if you click them and purchase you're gonna pay the same amount everything but I actually get a very small percentage and so if you're considering purchasing any of these items I would greatly greatly appreciate if you did so through my links especially during this time with the crazy virus outbreak it's really helpful to just help be a supplemental income for me right now so I really appreciate it okay now that the powder is on I'm going back in with my bronzer ladies if you don't get this specifically Too Faced Chocolate Soleil get any bronzer that does not have sparkle for example if you wanted to use Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush flawless finish in a shade four no shade three dark that is supposed to be for your foundation but because it's so dark you can use it as a matte bronzer that's a great option let's see does hula have sparkles hula is also matte so another great option however i have my mac give me sun and that does have a little bit of a shimmer you do not want that for interview So with the bronzer, we're going to go in around the hairline. Nothing too heavy because we don't, again, want to look cakey. We don't want to look um, very muddy, as some people would describe a heavy bronzer. We're not going to crazy contour. You don't need it. Just a little bit to brighten it up, give it some definition. Bring it down your neck, blend it in. On the tips and the side of your nose. Deet, 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 deet. <laughs> Are my sound effects necessary? No. Do I do them anyway? Yes. All right. Keep that bronzer out because we're going to go under the eye with it in just a little bit. But first, I want to do my blush. I'm using just a very neutral. Any of these are actually great options. Neutral pinky color. Um, this one's pretty coral. This is what I used on my eyes. It's by it cosmetics color matte sweet apple So cute now, where did my blush brush go? I got him. Okay, so I'm going in dab off excess Just on the apple of your cheek and right out apple out apple out <laughs> Actually, that might be a little much over here. So I'm gonna go in and just bring it down a notch with my powder and bronzer brush. Much better. Okay, now you at home might think I'm crazy, but this blemish right here is really bothering me. So I'm going back in with my light medium honey. And I'm just gonna dot right there. Okay, giving it just a second. And then I'm going to barely tap it out. Bye bye, blemish. You're not wanted here. Things that I would regularly do. Highlighter. We're not doing that for interview. No sparkles, ladies. Okie dokie. Going in with a very small brush. You can use a fluffy brush, a smaller one, or this very precise brush like this. I will link these as well with your bronzer dab 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 
Get rid of the excess and you're going to tap it under your eye. We're not using eyeliner. We're using the bronzer, the brown that you had on the top. You can pull it outward. See how that just kind of defines my eye? But it's nothing harsh. Blending it out on the outer edge. Perfect. Now you guys, I this is one of my favorite steps. Marc Jacobs is my favorite brand. I walked through Sephora and put a bunch of different brands on my hand and tried to rub them off. Marc Jacobs sticks like crazy. This is for the waterline, okay? I'm using shade Nudist. I also really love the Marc Jacobs shade Pink of Me. I'm not going to use the pink today because, again, I want to go as natural as possible um, for this interview process. So I'm going with the nude. And you go right in here on your waterline. can bring it into the inner corner. Perfect, see how this eye just pops so much more? Especially when we get mascara on you guys, this eye will look awesome. We're gonna go ahead and do it to the other side as well. Wonderful. Next, I'm going to go in for brows. Woohoo, woohoo. But otherwise, we're gonna go in just with a gel and brush them through. A tinted gel is perfect for interview. Gives a little bit of color, but nothing distracting. And that's all you need. And y'all, I love a good brow. So don't think I don't want you to color in your brows. Okay, now I feel like I look really silly because I have that foundation all over my lips. So I wanna jump right to that and then we'll go back to mascara. So I'm using ColourPop Liner BFF. It's a really neutral, kind of pinky nude, which I love. And then I'm coloring in with that same liner. Now I'm going with Benefits Dandelion Ultra Plush. It's a, a really kind of peachy nude color. Just a tiny bit goes a long way. Next I'm going to finish my lashes. Ladies, please don't wear eyelashes into your interview. If you're interviewing for a job at a hospital or a job at, oh my goodness, I don't know, the, the bank. Are you gonna wear lashes every day? No. So, treat your interview accordingly. Please don't wear lashes. It's, it can be distracting, they're so unnecessary. Go in there and rock your confident self. Now, if you don't have great lashes and you don't feel confident not wearing anything, um, very natural lash extensions are an option. There are serums out there that you can start using on a regular basis to grow your lashes. Or you can do the individuals. And you'll see them at Walmart, or Target, wherever you shop. It's a, it's a square just next to where you would get your regular um, strip lashes, but they're individuals. It looks kind of silly. There's a bunch of individual lashes. And you'll use a some tweezers to put them on individually. If that's something you're gonna do, practice ahead of time so that you're not stressed out right before your interview. But otherwise, just going in with a, a very precise mascara is all you need to do. Um, so, speaking of getting nervous before an interview, if you do, during this prep process while you're getting ready doing your makeup, whatever, I suggest listening to a podcast, 
Um, shameless plug for my own, more than a crown. Guys, go check it out. I interview people who have been influential in my life to inspire you all as well. Or, see that hair, guys, that hair. Need to spray that back so it doesn't keep happening. Be a distraction in an interview. Um, anyway, or listen to some music, play a show in the background so that you're not fixated and freaking out. Another good tip I have, before an interview, always look over your resume again. Okay, and then I'm gonna do just a light on the underside. This is the final look. Good luck at your interview, I'm so excited for you. I hope these tips could help calm any nerves and maybe answer some of your questions. Good luck.